Uh, good afternoon YouTube. So I'm working on my solar panel rack up there. You can see one panel's uh, down and I'll show you that in a separate video. I had a problem with some of the spot welded or soldered connections up on the top. They all went open circuit so I had to take that panel down and then I've still got the two 270 watt 24 volt panels and then on the side over there I've got the two 60 watt 12 volt panels. I've always wanted to get four panels up there all the same and that way I could do various combinations of series and parallel and right now I had basically three of one kind of panel and then one of another kind and it's kind of hard to uh, make any combinations of that. Like I said, this panel here went bad on me, so I've taken that down. And while I have that off, I thought I might take these other three panels off. And one of the problems I have is when I built this rack, I used the low profile unistrut. And that's not very stiff, and one of the problems I've had is that rack has kind of sagged in the middle a little bit. So I have myself a couple of pieces of the full-size steel unistrut to replace the aluminum. And I have another project I want to use that aluminum unistrut on. And I also want to use those two panels over there for another project. So while I have... Uh, Kind of a gray, cloudy day. You can see pretty, pretty gloomy. I thought today I would get these panels off of here and then get that unistrut off. And let me go show you the, what I'm going to put on there. So yeah, here's my unistrut that's going up there. So I have two 10-foot pieces. And then up at the end, I welded on two 4-foot pieces. So I have 14 feet of unistrut all in one piece so that should be pretty darn stiff that's going to go up on the rack and hopefully this will stiffen things up quite a bit over what's there and then i'll show you what's going to go on top of this stuff so i picked up four new solar panels these are 24 volt uh, 60 cell panels so these are lg I think it's their new Neon X. They're 335 watts and also pretty high efficiency. I think they're 19.6% efficiency. So these are the latest models they have and wanted to give a shout out to Danny over at ML Solar. He got me a fairly good price on these. I picked them up a couple days ago. They're, they're a local solar shop and they have a minimum quantity of four and I needed four. So the thinking is this right here is the only place on my property that faces due south. I put these panels at a 45 degree angle and we're looking pretty much due south here and that's on my tilting rack so I can adjust the solar panel angles for the various seasons. Right now they're in the winter position. So this is the prime position that I have for collecting solar power and they're, they're up high so they're not shaded uh, by anything. And I figure, since that's a prime property, what I want to do is get as much collecting power up there as I can. So instead of four 270-watt panels, I'll put four 335 watts. And let's see, that gives me 670 and 670, so 1,340 watts. And more importantly, these panels have a little bit over 8 amps short circuit current and the new panels are about 10 and a half amps and one of the things I'm looking at doing is I just picked up one of the 120 amp PWM charge controller for lithium batteries so I'll show you that in a separate video if I'm going to go to a PWM I want amps because PWM you can't boost the current at all so whatever current you have is what you have so i'll use these panels in parallel 
to feed the PWM controller, but I also want to be able to switch over and use my MPPT and basically compare MPPT versus PWM and see how they work. Is there any advantage to one or the other? And so that I figure that'll be a really good way because I'll have four panels up there. I can do two in series, two in series, and then those two sets in parallel. I can run all four in parallel. I can't do all four in series because my MPPT will only take 150 volts and these are about a little over 40 volt open circuit so I'd be stuck with uh, three in series. So probably my initial setup I'm going to use three of these feeding my lithium battery bank and then I'll use the fourth one to feed my 12 volt lead acid battery bank and I'll run both charge controllers both battery banks until I get switched over completely over to the lithium but for now I have a bunch of stuff hooked up to the lead acid bank and a bunch of stuff hooked up to the lithium banks I kind of want to keep both of them running and problem is right now I've got these two panels feeding the lithium bank but I've only got 120 watts feeding my lead acid bank so I can't really do much with it right now so if I switch over I'm gonna have a kilowatt feeding the lithium bank and then 335 feeding the lead acid bank so I should be in pretty good shape there so I gotta get busy before it gets dark today get those panels off of there and uh, get that rack rebuilt and then probably tomorrow morning I'll get up there and put the panels back up and try to get them plugged back in before the uh, sun burns off the cloud so I don't lose too much charging time so I gotta get busy here so we will catch you in a bit I'll show you what it looks like here if I don't have a chance to get back I'll cut over to a second video here